Hi and welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Bruce Mario. So we were talking about in the last part about uh, our favourite fire and ice level. So Jack, have you come up with anything? Yes, I have actually. And uh, my fire level would, would be Lava Reef from Sonic... I can't remember if it's Sonic. I think it's Sonic and Knuckles. But yeah. it. I just think uh, it's like this big lava cave. And it's one of the few where the actual lava isn't really a big part of it. It's like instant kill lava. It doesn't... Naki or anything, it's just a really well designed level and the boss is like you fight this really horrible looking thing that Robotnik's driving in like this erupting sort of lava thing mm. and you don't have to actually damage him directly, you just have to survive like this onslaught of lava and the lava sort of like tilts and makes things crash into Robotnik and that's how you kill him. Oh yeah I've seen that. I just think it's really nice good, battle. it's a really nice battle. And uh, for ice level, I had one in my head. It was S star from uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, I just think it's really moody. Like you basically cross this massive bridge across the ocean to like this hidden continent, where like it just looks like a barren wasteland, but like the background starts flickering, and there's like this whole city just protected by like this invisibility. So like, they don't want anyone to really f see what they're up to, and it's just like this completely hidden country from the world. I just really like that as an idea. That's awesome. So, if you were obedient and went to watch our Kirby playthrough, you'll recognise this level from Avenger Metal Knight. This is the Halberd, as the level says. And in the, if you haven't watched those videos, basically Kirby uh, climbs aboard the ship and systematically destroys it, which is um, presumably what Mario's going to do as well. Yeah, it's basically like that, abridged. Like, you'll do m many of the sections from that game, but not all of them, obviously. It's like a tour de force of what he's managed to like, or what she wants to do. Now these things, I've got no idea how a dodge wants to go mental, so uh, I have to take the hit there, I think. I think the idea with them is that you have to actually destroy them before you walk past them, otherwise you're in for a world of trouble. Mm. Well I reckon in a wider area you probably would have been alright, but yeah. it's just you got caught in that little crevice. I got caught in that little crevice. So this is the reactor, which as you remember from Kirby Superstar, it destroys itself by firing lasers which bounce off the walls and hit itself. So this is basically uh, the Brutal Mario take on that. It's, ba it's pretty similar really, it's just simplified isn't it? Yeah. But uh, again, well implemented. Very well You've done. You've got a lot of lies, Jack. Yeah, I mean... I'm not using, I'm not using save states within levels like very much, but... Um, I will use them. I mean, the, the main reason I am using them is that when a video ends, I'll probably be like big with the Yoshi or okay with the Yoshi. And I feel like if I'm attempting levels again, I'll start them small. So I want there to be some element of continuity, something which I kind of get a bit more sloppy with as we go on. But yeah, I just, I just like wow. the idea. Four hits, unusual number. So uh, yeah, we've taken care of the reactor. This is usually where um, all the uh, sort of co-pilots and soldiers will be saying, "Oh no, the main engine's down. We're going to crash." Ah, but this just seems quite like a nice little calm interlude into the next part of the game. I would have liked some sort of variation on that, so maybe some sort of Mario equivalents of those, uh, like <laughs> the Met. All oh, right, I see, nights. like Goom like Goombas and paratroopers, like saying, "Oh no," all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I would like that. Um, also, going back to an earlier discussion, I would like there to have been uh, the music from the Kirby game in here somewhere. That would have been cool. No, I remember watching you do this boss fight as well, actually. Oh, I mean, you'll see the HP of myself and Meta Knight at the top there. Um, a straight forward hit will take off one uh, to him, and uh, a back attack will do five. And I think it's four actually. Is it four? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, you're right. And given that a standard attack of his will do at least five and up to 20 damage, depending on what attack it is, that was 20 damage right there. This is somewhat of a long slog, and I don't think I managed to do it first time. But just to sort of say, in terms of like bosses, I've had trouble with this, is definitely one of them. This took me a while to get right. But I think well, I remember when you got it down, like, oh, you, when you, get... you found it really easy. Yeah, once you get the pattern down, like, once you know what to expect and the strategy for it is actually quite... It's very Mega Man in that, like, when you first encounter it, you're like, I can never do this. But once you sort of feel it out and have a good go at it, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's got to keep your head about you. Keep to your own guns. 
that's the thing with Mega Man bosses, is that like, like once you get the idea of them, they're usually pretty straightforward, but if you let yourself get flummoxed for a second, you can be in for a world of pain. I mean, Mega Man bosses oh, sort wow. of represent, for me, exactly what a boss should be, in that, um, what, it's all about learning the attack patterns and learning how to deal with each type of attack and then learning when best to like Make your move. normally when I encounter a boss in any game I, I just go guns blazing and see what Happens, if I can yeah. be in a battle of endurance and you're dead yeah um, <laughs> but obviously that rarely works but um, that's why I like for instance Death May Cry games I think they have that aspect I think it's why I like a lot of hack and slash games because the bosses they have are those, like that yeah they have that boss structure to them so let's try that again. I think I do a lot better this time. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. Now, I'm getting sick of this boss music, I tell you. Yeah. Like, the original music for this boss is so, like, high tempo and heart pumping. And this fight, I mean, the original fight and this fight is quite tense, I find. There's a lot going on. So like a bit of a rock and roll metal mix would be ideal, but alas, not to be. But I, I, I mean, in its defence, this is technically this version of the game is like a demo. Like the actual full game, to my knowledge, isn't finished in its entirety. It's in development. So bit of a uh, bit of a Minecraft in that regard. Yeah. In so that it's still clearly still awesome. Yeah. And completely playable, but it's not finished. It's not finished. So, I mean, it could be that. They just haven't got to the stage where they've chosen appropriate music for the levels yet. So I, I can't really slay it too much for that. Yeah, to be fair, I can imagine like if I was designing this sort of thing, music's one of the last things I'd do. Yeah. Because like, why would you pick the music first if you're not sure what the level's going to turn out like? Yeah. Absolutely. And like, you won't know how the level, level plays until you've actually play tested it yourself. I mean, you know how you want it to play, no. but... I mean, say you had this envisaged as like a really quick kind of tense fight, but it turned out to be quite not that at all, and then having that kind of music, oh my god, I've lost my lead a little bit there. Oh no, getting it back. Like, when he does that, um, that sort of flame tornado thing, you can really sort of hammer him home if you get it right. Yeah. Like, I've seen you get like six or seven criticals, as I like to call them. But, yeah, the key to this boss fight is the criticals. Like, this is definitely a good place to get them. And... He's mine. And there goes his mask and he looks like a little bob -omb. A little bob -omb. A little blue Kirby. Beep, 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 beep. And we still get the, oh, the, the escape. The wheelie scene. And you really go to that up. Um. So, uh, Meta Knight himself is a lot easier to dodge than originally. You'll just go off into the background and whichever level you're at, he'll just fly towards you and knock you back. So as long as you can get out of this section in the time allotted, you shall be fine. If I remember, it's quite generous with time. Like, yeah, I mean, you had like 19 Mario seconds or M seconds to spare. Well, those are actual seconds. Like, as with Kirby, like in that particular section, you do get like a 45 second countdown. And given that in the original game, I had like five seconds to spare, and it was quite tense, and it was all very rock and roll. That was quite pedestrian. Yeah, that's true, actually. But, but um, again, play. very cool and really good tribute as well to the to the Kirby game. Like, I mean plays almost identically, which is pretty impressive given how different the mechanics are of each game. So what was this? This was... Uh, Airborne Cemetery. As fun as it sounds. <laughs> so this is very reminiscent of Super Mario Bros. 3. The Dark World sort of ships. Except this time you can't swim in the lava. Can you do that in Super Mario? I think in there's like a like a submarine level where the water is like lava looking, but it's just water. I think that might be me misremembering something, but this is most definitely nuts and bolts. This is lava, and here we have some fast scrolling. Don't you love it? I do love it, Jack. Lots of opportunities to get crushed and killed, but I ever did all of them in this particular take. So we're getting to a stage where there seems to be pretty much a boss on every level now. Well, I don't know, this is meant to be like the run up to the, the, sort of the big showdown with Bowser, so I'm feeling this really is sort of like the brutal sort of dark world. Oh, see, you don't want to be standing in that red water. You want to take this Donkey Kong Country 3 gimmick? Oh god. You want to be more patient, Jack. And you want to make the water blue using a bit of spit, as is the way. Uh, just recharge that there. 
quick, Jack. It's going to turn back. Quick. Quick, quick. Oh, Aww. rubbish. I hope you all are along at home with us. If not, replay the video and have a little go. Have a little go. It's very uh... cathartic. Yeah. If you, don't know what the word, if you don't know what the word cathartic means, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Get so, some more carbon dear belts. Yeah, it's a good word to use. Very good word to use. Very cathartic <laughs> word to use, you might say. We're such dicks. So, back to the game. We're very cathartic dicks, you might say. Cathartic so dicks, if you will. We. Uh, literally, oh. you died. At, you did that in the same place. I think I make a lot of the same mistakes in exactly the same positions. As, as I said before, time shit is a stubborn, they don't learn. I haven't learnt, for instance, I should really be some recording some videos. <laughs> hey. um, uh, you see, I hope like in a year's time people will be watching this and going, but, but Ben's done all the games! <laughs> uh, that Jack's so lazy! Yeah. And it'll just be like the people who were there from the start, all seven of you, being like, I remember Jack used to be the man. But then there was that incident with Symphony of the Night, and uh, I'm saying that because during the game uh Symphony of the Night gave me a lot of trouble because I couldn't remember where anything was. It's a very confusing game. I could, I could kept, keep remembering where the really important stuff was, but then I kept forgetting you needed less important stuff to get to that. So. Yeah. So that was very tight timing. Water turns red, and then I get a star man. Now, I've never understood why they're called Starman. Like, is it just the David Bowie reference? I don't know which came first. The Bowie David Bowie be. definitely did. Yeah. 1974. 1973, actually. That stars. early? Wow. I didn't realise. A lot of people... I get very annoyed when... Uh, I did it this time. Like, that's really when people go to 80s discos and they have like a David Bowie lightning bomb. Like, that was six years... That was in 1974. That's not even remotely close to the end. So that's just me being a... So uh, this is another boss fight that I'm going to have to really span over another video just because one, it's quite difficult and two, it's very long. From here on in the boss fights do get quite epic. So this is Ultima. I'm not sure where she's from but she does look very Golden Sun to me. Do you get that feeling? I think she's from Golden Sun. She's not from Golden Sun, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's a snares boss. Well, I just think the, the word Ultima makes me think of Final Fantasy. I honestly don't recognise. Isn't there a boss always? Isn't there always a boss called Ultima in a? Well, there's Ultima weapon. Yeah. And like. And there's an attack called Ultima as well, isn't there? Yeah, it's always like a, the most powerful magic is usually called Ultima in these games. So that's why I was thinking it. But um, I don't know. Like, I mean, the way that she's all sort of like three D oh. modelled and all that kind of stuff. Can you not just picture her on the other side of a Final Fantasy battle mechanic? What's that? Like just picture some, just picture her standing there now, and then like in the the opposite corner, there being like a little party of Charvers fighting her. Hmm, maybe. Um, I still, I'm still doubtful, but this might be another case of when in doubt, trust Ben because he guesses better than Jack. With potatoes, with nuts. And... I I do want to make it clear though that uh, they are just guesses. Like yeah. uh, Jack normally has superior knowledge, and I'm just luckier. Yeah. So, mm. so, oh, you have to wait till she swoops down to jump on the deck. Yeah, and that uh, can often be quite frustrating because she never really does it. I think it should either be on a timer, or it should be. Oh, sorry. Or I think it should either be on a timer or it should be dependent on your position. And that's how it all like to go. The kiss of death. So I'll try that again in the next video. See you then. Goodbye.